Okay, we have a nice morning. There's Lake Biwa over there. As the sun camp came up, we're at Horai Station in Shiga, and I hope I didn't come too late. There's some snow at the top, but only at the very top. So I have to decide here which way to go, and I'm thinking this way. I see the highway up there, and I know that, according to Google Maps, which I, I don't have GPS with me, it's a little more fun this way, and um, I don't actually have, have a GPS, I have a phone, I just have a, a flip phone. So um, I think that's the way. Go down that road and up towards the highway. I know there's a tunnel under the highway that leads right to the trail. So we'll give it a shot here. And uh, this is Shiga. This is going to be good. Okay. I've come up a bit. I've Closer to the mountains through a little village. There's the lake down there. Um, and I did this hike, at least I think it's the same one, about seven plus seven years ago. And I think I'm on the right track. I just gotta go through the tunnel up there. So I don't remember this school, but I remember these tiered fields here. So we'll give it a go. Um, exciting. Beautiful day. A little breezy. But the sun is starting to shine. Got my layers on. Oh good, there's a walker. Dog walker, I think. Coming. So maybe this is the right path. That this feels right. Okay, so we'll stop there and we'll pick up again in a second. Okay, I might have uh, taken a wrong turn because I'm cutting across a rice field here. And it seems like a lot of these roads are closed off. But I'm going to get under that bridge up there. I just got to go down here. Oh man. Adventure time. Okay, that road is closed. I don't want to get my feet wet right now. Right at the beginning. There's a nice creek. paths are closed off. I don't see any signs as to saying why though, but I'll get, I'll get in there. Okay, there's no signs, so I just went through that gate. I'm hoping that's alright. I can imagine somebody coming to yell at me. Stranger things have happened. This gate's open. So, up I go, I remember it said to go left here, there's a road up here, so that's where I'm headed, after I relieve myself. Here we go, found it. It's the way to the, the mountain here. There's the path. And then down through there is back to the station. So I was just off to the left a bit. But now I'm going up. Here we go. 
That happens every time. But it's part of the fun. And I realized all these fences blocking these roads are not for people, they're for um, wild boar. Which I've seen down here, I think I mentioned. Oh, this is good. Having a good day. I missed my first train. Trying to buy a big bottle of water. Sports drink, actually. But I didn't get frustrated. Got down there by 8. Even though I left the house at 6.15. Should have been about half an hour earlier. But I'm here. I haven't been on a big hike in a long time. Some people live up here along the hiking path. And there's solar panels for their house, I suppose. Living a good life up here. Chica would be a nice place to retire, I think. I've always thought that. Might be. It's not too far to Kyoto. See the sights. But it would be peaceful. Deer and boar running around in the yard. Get a little more snow. And there's no supermarket to be seen. I'm just going to head over here and show you where I came from today. There we go. You already get a good view of Piwako. I'll hold this up inside the fence. And this farm down there. Gorgeous. So there's a town down there. I'm going to start hustling up. I want to see this mountain. So I'll stop and eat my eggs. I made some boiled eggs. And uh, one more bowl of rice that I packed. And a banana. Maybe I'll stop in 45 minutes. And I'll try to stop if there's a good viewpoint or something. Oh, well, here's a sign. Let's just get a video of this sign. A re recording. This sign. That can't be the way up the mountain to the right here. Got to keep going up, right? I don't know. What does it say? I'm going up. So I've only been going for about 15 minutes since the last clip, but I'm just amazed at how there's concrete. The path is concrete this far up. And it's not, we're past the last cabin or house. There were a couple run-down little cabins. I don't think anyone was living in them. Looks almost abandoned. Or at least <clears throat> not well taken care of, neglected. But I'm going. And the cedar trees here all towering up over me. It smells beautifully in here. Oh, it's really refreshing. It has the heart rate up. Here we have a sign that says Arigato Gozaimas. Thank you. I guess thank you for coming. What does it say here? It says Ah, 
It's just for watching out for fire, I think. Well, I don't know, my kanji's still really bad. After almost 10 years. But I think I got the gist of it. Being careful. There's a big culture of firefighting. Um, keeping the forests from burning and their own system that evolved here. Not one borrowed from the West. Which is really interesting. Be a great subject for a book and a documentary uh, that somebody could do really well, I think. Be very interesting. Here we go. Pushing it. Only a 1.62 horizontal kilometers in. Coming up to a nice waterfall. Man made, but still. Cascade. Uh, I'll go up here, check it out real quick. See that? It's nice. We got the blue sky up above. And it goes down, 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 down. It'll be interesting to see if uh, my watch, if these roads have been, or this path has been measured for uh, elevation. Because my watch uses, it outsources for its elevation. It doesn't actually have that capability. No, uh, what's it called? Altimeter? <clears throat> well, it'll be interesting to see. I guess you can find out how high some of the peaks are pretty easily on Google and things. So maybe it is going to show up on Strava, too. Okay. Gorgeous view here. It just kind of opened up. A little grass. And then you get a little view down. It's probably too sunny, but the whole lake is visible here. What if I shade it a bit now? Like a good, I mean not the whole lake, but you can see across it now. Very easily. Wide, open, beautiful Lake Biwa. Across there is like, I guess downtown Otsu, or maybe a little further north, like uh, like Kusatsu or something like that. We can check on the map later. What in the hell is this thing? It makes me feel like I'm in a Star Trek episode, and it's going to burst open and blast me with spores that are going to control my mind. Pretty wild thing, huh? Making it, making it up. Still more to go. There we have a little snow. Elevation pretty intense for this area of Japan. Got snow already, not even December. There's my fourth kilometer. Vertical, I think. I don't know how they measure. I mean a horizontal, sorry. I'm tired. But I'm going up. Really can't quit now. It's only been an hour and 18 since I started. I want to get to this top. I just don't want the fam to have to wait too long or worry. I have a feeling my phone doesn't get service up here, but I'll give him a try when I get to the top. Almost there. Ah, oh, it's a good feeling. Being the only one, I think the only one up here. At least four or five kilometers in any direction. Because I didn't start my watch until I was out of that little village. Okay. I'm sweating, even though there's snow on the ground. Hot, hot, hot. Alright. I'm going to get to the top now. I feel like 
Yeah, I'm way up there now. It's about the highest I've ever climbed. There's the peak. I just went up this rope ladder. And it's freezing up here. Oh yeah, snow everywhere. I'm just gonna go to the top and go down. I'll eat my lunch, my breakfast later. I'm gonna record all to the summit. Wow, that was intense. The end there. Gorgeous down there. It's so um, misty that I don't think you can see, but you can see the bridge. The cross is there. That was cold. I do And uh, the lake, if you, I don't know if how, the, how it's turning out. There they are. back and maybe I can see the pond. We'll see. I probably, I'm, I'm going to say that's a 150% chance that I'm going back there. Okay. Woo! Get it! Got to the peak! So I'm on my way back down and this tree, unless I went a different way, oh I did. Never mind. I was going to say this tree fell down when I was gone. But I think this is where I crossed the creek on the way up. So I gotta go down there and get to the other side. That's right, that's right. But anyway, going down is a lot smoother and quicker. Maybe not smoother, but quicker for sure. And I'm still whew, invigorated by that uh, being up there on that wintry, windy peak. Oh my goodness. That was something special, and the view, how small 
the cars were in the element or junior high school that I passed on the way up looked just like a placemat on a table. It was tiny, maybe you know, smaller than that. It looked like a like a like a coaster on a on a big huge table. Um, their their field, their, their soccer field, and it was just like a rush of energy coming your way, coming my way. Yeah, there's my trail on the other side there. So I gotta put this away. But you just felt like a buzz coming through your cords. It was amazing. Amazing to be up there. Maybe that's where I cross. Alright. Time to get back. Here I am at the end of the uh, journey. I just bought just bought some uh, mochi from a street vendor and there's Lake View out there and a nice garden here and uh, I'm a happy dude. I found an orange on the ground that I'm gonna eat. I think it fell from a tree or a truck or something but it looks in good condition. I'm feeling wild and rustic after getting out of the mountain. And I came down the right way, so I'm going to try to remember where to go up next time if I ever get the chance to come back. It's up through this neighborhood. Just on the other side of the gardens, the farms, um, that are to the right of the school when you're headed up. So, that was my day. <clears throat> I'm going to look for something to drink on the way home to celebrate. So uh, get out and hike. This has been a great day. So invigorating to do this. I wish I did it more. <laughs>